Now to illustrate what it means, to illustrate what this law means, we take this equation and conduct an experiment using six different concentrations. In first four, we have initially taken HI as, as zero, okay? And we started with different concentrations of H2 and I2. These are the initial concentrations. Ultimately, we found out, you, you see that this H2 went down, this I2 went down, and HI that was zero went up, right? It will happen in all the cases. So from 2.4, it became 1.14. From 1.38, it became 0.12. From 2.4, this became 0.92. From 1.68, it became 0.2. From 0, it increased to 2.96 into 10 to the power minus 2. Here, it, 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 it reduced from 2.44 to 0 0.77, 1.98 to 0.31. And here, it increased from 0 to that. And same here. Here, this will increase. So, we started with this. Okay. Here, we started with this. And, and there was nothing here. We saw that these increased. And this decreased. From 7.58, it became 5.86. From, from 2.35, from, from, from 7.58, it became 5.86. From 3.04, it became 2.35. Right. Now, they tried to find out a relationship between it, between the, between the concentrations and, and they first calculated the HI, so, so they first calculated this, okay, HI upon the, the concentration of the product upon, upon the concentration of, concent, product of the concentration of, of the reactants. Okay, and if you calculate this, you will find there will be differing values of this expression. Then they tried something else and they calculated this. Okay. This was pretty constant. Okay, so it seemed whatever was the stoichiometric coefficient here, this got raised to that power, right? Understand? This got raised to that power and And ultimately, for the general case, for the general case of, of an equation like this, like this, the equilibrium constant, okay, this was found to be the concentrations raised so, so this is this is this okay this is capital c this is small c into d raised to the power small d divided by concentration of a raised to the power small a concentration of b raised to the power small b So why won't the reciprocal of this be constant? It will be. Why not? So why not? We, why don't we take the reciprocal? Why? Because what do we want? What are you? You'll understand sometime later. You want this to indicate the extent to which the forward reaction has proceeded. Figure of merit. In a sense, it is a figure of merit because you are calculating it for for a particular reaction. So you'd like to know how much of C and D have been formed if I react A and B under certain conditions. Yeah, Correct. Yeah, because you, you, you nothing happens if, if you start with this and you live with this. 
it's as good as uh, setting not setting up any reaction at all right yes the reciprocal will 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 show the backward reaction yes the reciprocal of this kc one upon, uh, that is one upon kc that will be that will be for cc plus dd giving you aa plus bb right understand so this is for the forward reaction this and this remains a constant and that is the law of equilibrium law of chemical equilibrium or the equilibrium law fine so the law of law of chemical equilibrium or equilibrium law So this is the law of chemical equilibrium or the equilibrium law, this expression, which says that at any given temperature, at any given temperature, Okay, the product of the, the product of the concentrations of the reaction product so reaction products raised to their stoichiometric constant at any given temperature the product of the concentrations of the reaction products this product and this product are different things raised to their stoichiometric constants of a balanced chemical reaction divided by the product of so so we are saying this right this divided by the product of the concentrations of of the reaction reactants Okay. 
raised to their individual stoichiometric constants raised to their individual stoichiometric constants constants has a constant value is a constant right has a constant value hmm? so many so many hmm? the words with the same meaning uh, with different meaning and and the same those things what are they called words so product here and product here they are two different things right constants here and or constant here are two different things all right okay this is also known as the law of mass action okay it is also called <coughs> the law of mass action okay this is also called the law of mass action fine why because earlier the concentrations were also known as active masses okay earlier the concentrations were called concentrations were called active mass okay that's why it is known as law of mass action fine 